little better view. Uh, this is two days later after the last piece of video showing you what I have to do to both ends to keep this portion of it out of the way. This needs to be swapped over to the other end down there. This end's already done. And there's the other piece I did that to. You see I still cut lower but the table doesn't bump it and that's the important part. As long as I can get down low enough to where that table doesn't bump it which this is just just barely I could probably stick a whole match between it and that's about it. Not the match book cover but the match itself so that's pretty good clearance. Anyway get a nice better low profile view of the whole prop. Uh, sweet. That's what I want. And all I gotta do is run across it with the belt sander and, and the regular sander and we got her made. I'm fixing to flip this around hopefully get you some uh, footage with it sitting right here so you get to watch it carve. Hello I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Well Cluggy 619 came down. Eh, I got one I want to play with already rounded. He's got a treadmill motor up on the roof. We figure let's put a prop on it and see what it'll come up to. He wasn't getting much out of it. We'll see what happens. Well I got one and five eighths inches right here. Uh, my biggest bit's uh, one and a half so I'm going to have to waller it out a little bit. I figure we put the prop on this side. Sorry, my frame works in. Put the prop on this side. So I have to drill a hole in the center of this. One and five eighths inches. And this is kind of thin here. I can drill some holes on the drill press. We'll just mount that prop right on there. The only thing is to find the center of this. I measure from both ends and then halfway across. I got my dot. Matter of fact, I see one that I put in there already. I didn't do it on this side. But anyway, we'll do that. Drill that center out and mount this thing up. And put it on there and see what it looks like. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and Other Home Energies. Many good things to you and yours. Okay, after a while of taking the rasp in and, in and out all the way around equally on each side and putting it on to see which way it rocked, it tells you which side is touching. And we got it in there and she still feels pretty much in the center. So anyway, now we got this, I'm going to flip it over, put it on the uh, drill press. I figured I'd keep that as my top. I put my finger right there, stick her in, fits in nicely. Yep, and the balance hole is drilled right here on this one, so I'll probably put two screws right here and widen them out and put two screws on this side. That way they're even and it'll balance a lot better when I'm done. So I'm going to drill these holes and put some drywall stingers in there and we ought to be sweet. Okay, well I, I can put two, or I can put two right here, and I can spread them out, and I can put two right here, or I can put two right here. Anyway, I think I'll just put two here and two up here, so I'm kind of centered on this one already. I'm going to fire it up, and we'll knock these out, and it'll balance nicely. foil tape over here is to keep this from skating and busting my, my drill bit off. It's a good idea if you got something, you lay it on here where it can't go this way or that way. One piece on each side. Okay, now we got it lined up here on the back. I even put a mark on the rotor over here for later. This is actually a test prop. It's not even finished, so, but it's more fun. It's one I decided I started cutting the end off on, and then I decided I'd just go ahead and sand it out. We haven't finished sanding it out. Because I want to balance it on the rotor. 
I get these screws and I ain't got them perfectly out the same length. This one's out farther than this one. It's got to change the balance just a little bit. Put it on the motor, the motor turns real easy. So it ought to tell us if it's out of balance. Especially if we shake it just a little bit. There we are. So I've got these four screws going in. I said, I got these four screws going in. <laughs> And that should put her on. She's pretty well mounted. At least I know the screws are going all the way into the wood. Because I tell you what, it's pretty hard to turn towards the bottom. Eighth inch. There we go, right there. This one here looks like it's a little loose. There we go. Very good. That ain't coming off of there. Shy of somebody hitting it with a sledge. Looks like we got it pretty well centered. We'll stick it on the machine and play with it tomorrow when it's daytime. So you can see what's going on. I'm Scott Brown, Greenwind, and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours.